In this video, we're going to take a look at what we do when we see lots of parentheses in the same problem. There are several different types of parentheses that you might see, and sometimes to keep things nice and pretty, we kind of have a hierarchy of parentheses. So you might see curved parentheses. Around those, you might see squared parentheses. Around those, you might see curved parentheses. They're all just parentheses. Neither one is different than the other. They're just written a little differently to make it clearer which parentheses goes with which parentheses. The key with all these parentheses is to remember that we are always going to do the innermost parentheses first. The one on the inside gets done, and then we kind of work our way out to the greater problem. So for example, in this problem, we see 4 plus 2 minus 5 squared divided by 2 plus 3, and there's a whole bunch of parentheses in there. We might notice that there is this square parentheses that encompasses 5 squared divided by 2 plus 3. However, inside of that, there is another parentheses of 2 plus 3. And because that's on the inside, we're going to do that part first. And while we're at it, we'll do that other parentheses on the side, that 4 plus 2 that kind of stands alone, because there's no other parentheses or anything else affecting it. So 4 plus 2, that's 6, minus 5, still in the square parentheses, squared, divided by 2 plus 3 is 5. And still working down the order of operations, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or Pim Das. Still inside the parentheses, the exponent must be done next. So we have 6 minus 5 squared is 25 divided by 5. And then the still inside that parentheses, we got to get the parentheses completely done. We've got 25 divided by 5. So now we have 6 minus 25 divided by 5 is 5. And finally, at the end, we get to the adding and subtracting, where 6 minus 5 is 1. Let's take a look at the second example, again with lots of parentheses. Again, we notice the squiggly bracket parentheses that encompasses lots of stuff. And inside that squiggly bracket parentheses, is a square parentheses, which still covers lots of stuff. And inside it all, the innermost parentheses, we see this simple addition step. So that's where we're going to start. We've got 7 times 2 plus 2 times 20 divided by 4 plus 6 is 10. Continuing to work out of those parentheses, now we've got the square parentheses to deal with. So we've got 7 times 2 plus 2 times 20 divided by 10 is 2. And continuing to work out of those parentheses, we'll look at the squiggly parentheses now. Doing the multiplication first before we do the addition, be careful here. 2 times 2 is 4, so we've got 7 times 2 plus 4. Four, and now we can finish that parentheses, 2 plus 4, to give us 7 times 6. Finally, we make it out of the parentheses to the outside stuff. 7 times 6 is 42. We have our solution. Great job. Lots of parentheses. Always start with the innermost parentheses at the beginning of order of operations.